get the close up shot. President of the class of 2014, I would like to thank and welcome all of you for joining us in our commencement exercises. Now, our Vice President, Sam Morgan, will give a benediction. That's right. 
Dear God, thank you for this time to come together as a class and as a family to celebrate our graduation. Thank you for the memories we have made and the friends we won't forget. Be with the rest of our ceremony, and as we all go our separate ways, help us to remember that no matter where we are, we are all one. Amen. Ms. Gordon Groove is with us. She is our Student Services Director. We also have Ms. Jessica Gwynn. She is the Assistant Principal. Two of our guidance counselors are here as well. Uh, Paula Shaw. And Mrs. Taylor Woodall. She is here. Mr. Michael Crenshaw, our school psychologist, is with us. <laughs> Mr. Nick Neely, our technology director. <laughs> Mr. Tom Cooper, our athletic director. <laughs> Dr. Steve Huffman is with us. He's our speaker. We'll talk to him in just a second. 
And also, and last but not least, our two class advisors, Mr. Ben Deer and Mr. David Dickinson. There are a few other people uh, that I'd like to, rec to uh, recognize. We have teachers and faculty and staff in the audience. Would you please stand so that we can recognize you? Today. Memorial Day is just in a, two days from now, three days from now, and as we near Memorial Day weekend, I'd like to take this uh, opportunity to invite the veterans who are with us tonight to stand along with any seniors who are in our military service so that we can thank you for the service to your country. Here, I'm going to have uh, some young ladies in the graduating class stand. It, I was talking to Mr. Cooper, and we could not remember a time when our softball team became district champions on commencement evening. So I'd like them to stand, please. <laughs> and, and last and certainly not least, I did this this morning with our assembly, but uh, we're going to do it again because we have even more here and seniors here who will need your help. Parents, would you please stand in the audience? Seniors, we need to say thank you to them. I need to introduce myself. My name is Scott Little. I am the principal here and very proud to be the principal of Middle Union High School. Um, I am also a father. I'm the, the proud father of three beautiful girls on ages 13, 11, and 4. Uh, a lot of adventures in our house every day. Um, <laughs> I just want, something happened a few weeks ago that made me kind of think about what we were going to go through tonight. Just a, a few weeks ago, I noticed a pair of shoes lying on the floor by our front door. And this is nothing new. I have three girls, and I'm also the proud owner of 500 pairs of shoes. None of them are from running. So, what struck me about these is how big they were. I saw these giant shoes sitting there, and I realized at that moment that they belonged to my oldest daughter. And as I looked at those big shoes, I started to be struck by how much these girls, my girls, had grown and changed. And then I realized them something. That I really loved them being big, but I missed them being loved. Tonight, tonight we come together to celebrate our students, our children, who have grown big before our eyes. I want you to remember the small hands that you held on to on the first day of kindergarten. We together helped them conquer the intricacies of the alphabet, and we struggled to navigate the mysteries of the timetables. Parents, you have listened to their hopes and their fears. You've been their greatest advocates and have felt every setback as deeply as your own. You have dried tears, we have shared laughter, as these students, our children, have marched towards the day that now has come. I believe that I can speak for every parent, grandparents, family member, friend, or teacher, everyone who has been a part of this journey and saying that we wouldn't change a thing. As these students, our children, move on to the next challenges and adventures await them, we can say with certainty, yes, we miss you little, but we certainly love you big. Seniors, I want you to remember that even though you are graduating, you will always be a member of our Bulldog family. We love to learn about your successes and your challenges, so please keep in touch. Always, always, always be proud of where you are from, and remember everyone who helped you along the way, and take the opportunity to help someone else. The entire Milton Union Schools community wishes you well, and would like to say congratulations, class of 2014. Thank you.
Could have had a run out of the Victorians will come forward and put a little, a little curveball and call them to do something different about 10 minutes ago. So this should be, this should go really well. So they're going to come on up here and try this.
with my name on it and a few stats about me. When October came around and I played in my last volleyball game, I started to realize that many things I put forth so much of my time and effort into were quickly coming to an end. As December crept up, I was thankful that I made it through the stressful exams and into another peaceful Christmas break. It started to hit me when May finally arrived and I realized it was my last prom, but the feeling, qu but the feeling quickly left while I was there having the time of my life. But as, but as I walked out onto this field, and it began to sink in that this ceremony is truly the end of it. Today is the day I graduate and begin my future alongside the rest of my class. As I look around now, it's hard to believe that this is the last event we will all spend together, and that I probably won't see most of you for a while, if not ever again. Well, mine is like half the class that's attending Wright State with me in the fall. But as I look back, I can't imagine graduating with a better class than this one. Over the years, I've interacted with each one of you in different ways that I'll always cherish. We are who we are for a lot of reasons, and maybe we'll never know most of them. But even if we don't have the power to choose where we come from, we can still choose where we go from here. So my challenge to each of you is simple. Take each day separately and make the most of it, because you only have one chance to get it right. Congratulations to the class of 2014. We've earned it. Our next valedictorian is Leanne Putterball, the daughter of Jerry and Sharon Putterball. Seven hundred and twenty. The number of days we've been in school since the start of our freshman year. After all those wonderful research papers, thrilling math projects, and Mr. Grafflin's study guides, we did it. We finally made it through. Everyone always focuses on their class, but that's not what I'm here to address. We've been preparing for this moment from the first time we walked through those intimidating doors at the high school. Now it's time for us to take hold of our future, to grasp opportunities. Remember that question everyone would ask us when we were little? What do you want to be when you grow up? Our average answer would be something along the lines of an astronaut, a firefighter, an actor or singer, and maybe even the president. But somewhere along the way, whether what it was in our awkward stages of middle school or what seemed like the never-ending days of high school, our dreams faded. People tell you to be more realistic and aim for something more achievable. But my question is this. If everyone lessens their dreams to everyone else's standards, what has been the purpose of these past 12 years? We've prepared, studied, and prepared some more for this day. Hard work truly does pay off. So why not aim for those goals we had as kindergartners? Our mindset back then was, yes, a little naive, but also somewhat inspiring. We were fearless, and no mountain seemed insurmountable. So why not do that now? Never cease to chase your dreams, and never hesitate to push yourself a little farther. There is beauty in the fear of not knowing where our paths will be leading us. But we can be certain that as long as we put our minds to it, achieving greatness is just within reach. Our last valedictorian is Courtney Richardson, daughter of Barry and Mia Richardson. Thank you to all of our staff, administration, and Board of Education members. And as I thought about what to say tonight, it was difficult for me to figure out just what to say. Being the last of the valedictorians, all I thought I could say was what they said and move on. I thought about how I could sum up four years in a few minutes. Walking through Mountain Halls, we've made quite a few memories with each other. We'll remember Mrs. Kurtz's advanced math class shouting, I squared equals negative one loud enough for the entire school to hear. Knowing what the term Zerker Nerfer meant, thanks to Mr. Skiles. Mitch Gooselin walking the halls in his American flag chubbies, which he does have on tonight. And Ken Dickinson's very distinct laugh throughout the day. <laughs> this is what we're going to remember. This is what being a bulldog is all about. But what does being a bulldog truly mean? I'm sure all of us have our own definitions, but I think everyone can agree with me on one when I say that it means pride. It's having the best school spirit while proudly wearing red and white. Being a Bulldog means trying to put your school on the map everywhere you went so everyone knew where you were from. Being a Bulldog means having small town spirit, even if your next chapter in life is in the biggest city in the world. 
in its small town, big tradition. Being a Bulldog means creating lasting friendships with each other. Whether we were a kindergarten through 12th grade wellness student, or we transferred in somewhere in between, we can all look at someone on this field and know our best friend is right beside us. Being a Bulldog means athletics, rivalries, and Friday night lights. It means homecoming floats and winning spirit week competitions. It means the old school versus new school and going to the same school where most of our parents attended. It means being a community with a sense of unity and support within the town. It's a small town bond that some communities may never get to experience. Being a Bulldog may sound corny, but deep down it's realizing that you grew up in West Mountain, Ohio, where lifelong friendships are made, and where you'll always be able to come back if things go wrong. It's home. After we get handed our diplomas tonight and leave the field, We'll know that MUHS will permanently connect us to each other, allowing us to cherish our high school days forever. Being a Bulldog is special and indescribable. It's a personal connection with each of our fellow classmates that we won't be able to share with anyone else. In a short speech, nothing will be able to compare to our own memories and experiences. To be a Bulldog, it is personal, and you really just had to be there to understand. After all, once a Bulldog, always a Bulldog. Thank you. It's my pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker today, Dr. Steve Huffman. Uh, he is a 1983 graduate of Milton Union High School, where he excelled in football, basketball, and baseball, and was first team all day his senior year in all three sports. Dr. Huffman went on to play football at the University of Toledo, where he played inside linebacker, starting for three years and serving as captain for the Rockets in his senior year. He then went on to the Medical College of Ohio at Toledo, where he received his medical degree. He completed his family practice residency at St. Elizabeth Hospital in 1995. For nearly 20 years, Dr. Huffman has practiced emergency medicine in the Dayton area for Premier Physician Services. Over his career, he has spent a cumulative time of nearly one and a half years overseas in such locations as St. Lu Lucia, Australia, Belize, and Cameroon, training the underserved in missionary clinics. In 2012, he was elected to serve as the Miami County Coroner. Steve currently resides in Tip City with his wife Catherine and five children. He is the son of long-time Union Township residents Ian Huffman and the late Robert J. Huffman. I would like to introduce Dr. Steve Huffman. Thank you. Graduates, family, faculty, and staff, thank you so much for having me speak to you at this very special day. It is a great honor and, of course, brings back a flood of memories. To you graduates, it was too long ago for you to conceive ancient history even in your minds, but for me, it was 1983, and just yesterday that I sat just where you sit, and I tapped them down, looking forward to so much. And in front of me, this is where the old high school stood, where I and four of my siblings and a countless number of friends spent some of the best days of our lives. In my immediate future, I saw my college days, my football career, and I just passed that in medical school, but I could not foresee the next 30 years for myself or the world. Back then, ESPN was just getting off the ground. Cable television was just a few channels. None of us had a personal computer, computer, and when we saw you did not have McDonald's in West Milton. <laughs> a gas station stood there on the corner selling gas by the gallon for less than one dollar. Cell phones were something out of a science fiction movie, and we could not envision Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. And envision those things, we would have laughed and shook our heads. But someone did have those visions, and the world today has changed in so many ways. I stand here today and I cannot imagine what new things we will have in 30, year, 30 more years. Perhaps a cure for cancer, world peace, and a trip to Mars. Mars. I'd like to think that someone in the Milton Union class of 2014, maybe you or the person beside you, will be on the forefront of those discoveries and innovations. But if not, I can surely tell you that we will see from this class 
is a tradition of excellence, community, and service that extends back generations for Mountain Union graduates. While you may be the second class of Bulldogs to graduate from the new school, I know that you will contribute to the lofty legacy forged by those that have come before you. Let's discuss the future. There are many of you here today that have earned college scholarships. There are others who are just happy to have the opportunity to continue your schooling. You will go on to become doctors, lawyers, engineers, nurses, reporters, or one of the dozens of other noble professions. Many others of you will enter the workforce much sooner, providing much needed manpower to the many businesses in our area. Our community could certainly use more entrepreneurs, small business owners who provide not only commodities and services, but also jobs for the local workforce. Perhaps you will be going to become one of the many mountain graduates who will work on the, on the family farm. Some of you will opt to become a stay-at-home parent and raise yet another generation of Bulldogs. What I hope for you is that you are fortunate enough to choose the path that will find rewarding and fulfilling in your life. Many other Mountain Union graduates have taken the road that of serving in the military, and some of them have given their lives in the defense of our country. I think of Mark Cole, a 1982 MU graduate and a friend that died in Bay Ruth a few months after I graduated. This is certainly a noble path in my hope those who have joined the armed forces in the United States will not leave the country of freedom it is today. I ask you to remember them on, on Monday, Memorial Day, for their service and sacrifice. For those of you who will be defenders of freedom, for those who will step forward to ensure we are able to continue our way of life, I applaud you. There are many other ways to serve in government other than the military. There are Mountain Union graduates, graduates in many jobs in local and county government, local school boards, county commissioners, and the like. These public servants work hard each day to make sure our courts, our streets are safe and our trash is picked up. I'm very proud of my young brother, Sam Huffman, who is president of the Mountain Union School Board, and will soon pass out your diplomas. I would be remiss if I didn't encourage you to always practice your civil duties. Actually, you're a privilege of voting. Our country has been the global standards of freedom and democracy for more than two and a half centuries because its citizens are engaged. We have the right to decide our own fate by electing those who represented us, those who make our laws and run the, and run the country. There's one last form of service that I'd like to talk to you about, one that I personally embrace. I encourage each and every one of you to try. There's a Mahatma Gandhi who said, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Since my medical school days, I've spent a year and a half serving in the, in the missions. I know I now try to give at least a week of service project every year. In a couple of weeks, I'll be taking my family and another family to the jungles of Belize treating patients, building, cleaning, and just helping out to make life a little easier for those less fortunate than we are. I will be doing the best on this trip to donate my skills as a doctor to those who may have access to medical care at any other time. You certainly do not have to leave the country to help those in need. My sister Beth, a 1978 graduate, conducts a pajama drive every year for an abuse shelter in Philadelphia where women come battered, bruised, with little belongings or hope. One of my nephews, a professional musician, spends a couple days a month playing jazz at a senior center. There are dozens and dozens of ways to serve the community. Volunteer at a soup kitchen. If your local church has a food bank, make a few meals. Volunteer to be a little league coach, help clean up a park. I'll leave you with a thought from the humanitarian Mother Teresa who said, I alone cannot change the world, but I can cast a stone across the waters to create many ripples. I urge you to, to go forward and make those ripples. Go make waves. Make Mount Union High School proud of you. Thank you.
Freshman year was the beginning of a new chapter. It was a fresh start. It was the beginning of all of our firsts. First two days, first day of high school, and the first day of the rest of our lives. Freshman year was the year we had our lockers on the first floor. It was the year we could go to homecoming for the very first time. It was the year we got called the Flaming Freshman. Freshman year started at Freshman Focus Camp. We were given the class song, Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi. We were told by all the upperclassmen that there was a pool on the fourth floor. Who didn't know that? Many of us had our first art class with Miss Tryon. Musical Happy Days was performed, and we built our first homecoming float. Although the year contained many new experiences, it was a great one. Now our chapter of high school is over, and it's time for the next one to start. Whether it be college, military, or getting a job, embrace this new chapter with all that you are. Sophomore year was an awkward year. We had grown past being this stupid freshman, but we weren't yet upperclassmen. It was the last year ever spent in the old high school, which then made McKinley Commons the old, old school in our minds. We watched all the last happen in that building, like the last musical, The Music Man, performed, the last Spanish market day with Miss Vincent, and the last prom to New York City that many of us attended. Although we lost that incredible building, we have so many memories from it that live on. Say, for example, when someone, <coughs> friends in the room, jumped out of the second story window. Sophomore year also brought some exciting firsts as well. The oldest of us began going through the fun of driver's ed and beginning to drive. We got to go on a field trip to the zoo and learn about genetics while watching Gattaca with Miss Harlow. Sophomore year was the year that copy-paste game was started, along with the <laughs> and all the rest of those goofy games. Sophomore year brought laughter, memories, and growing. So, class of 2014, because we made it all the way from sophomore year to this moment, every struggle, every tear, and every victory got us to the here and now. Junior year was a year of first and new. We began our junior year in a new school with the thrill of being upperclassmen. As the year started, the excitement of winning football team spread throughout our small town. We had the pleasure of cheering on the Bulldog team to the third round of the playoffs. As the football season was winding down, we entered into homecoming week. There was float building at the Douglases and powder puff game against the seniors. We took the field, decked out in tutus and tights, ready to face our foe. It was a hard loss, but we looked amazing. As homecoming came to an end, we welcomed winter and all the joy that came with it. The basketball season began, and so did the countdown to Christmas break. Before we knew it, Christmas had passed and our class was putting on the father-daughter dance for the elementary school. Spring came and brought more sports and more stress for our class. Since we were juniors, it was our job to put on prom for the senior class. This year, unfortunately, we got a small amount of time to decorate for prom, but we did, we did not let that stop us. The theme for our prom was Secret Garden, and by the time we were done decorating, it really did look like a secret garden. As the spring season and school year came to an end, we were excited for summer and to be seniors. As graduation came and we said our goodbyes to the class of 2014, the class of 2000, I mean, sorry, 2013, the class of 2014, whether we were ready or not, took our place as the new seniors of Milton Union High School. Thank you. So I'm going to talk about senior year, but first I'm going to take a selfie. I think I got it right. If you guys don't know what that is, ask your kids, it's a song. <laughs> now here's my speech. The year started out and we still couldn't believe we were seniors. Senioritis had kicked in late junior year, but now we actually had an excuse for all the procrastinating and falling asleep in class. For the first two months of school, you couldn't walk through the halls without hearing someone say the phrase, coined by a camel, also known as hump day. It seemed as if everyone looked forward to Wednesday just so they could say that. As the year went on, we realized that sleep was more important than sitting on the senior bench. Homecoming quickly came and our class focused on trying to help young students in need instead of winning a float contest. After homecoming, we all looked forward to the breaks part of the school year. First came Thanksgiving, and then came Christmas break, and we knew when the new year came, it was downhill from there. 
The college application process began, and then the race to finish last minute scholarships stressed us all out. After spring break, the fun began. With the dodgeball tournament and the student versus staff basketball game quickly approaching, excitement filled the hallways. I mean, what do you expect when teachers give themselves nicknames and make posters to hang in the hallways, taunting the senior team? Even though we lost, it was still the most exciting fundraiser of the year. As graduation came closer, we started to experience the stage of last. Last prom proposals, last prom promise week, which focused on the dangers of texting and driving. Our last prom, last JTI, last sporting contests, and last musical performances. Government days, which we look forward to since our freshman year, came quickly. Finally, our last exams and senior picnic. The last, we op the last time we opened our locker, saw our favorite teacher, and walked down the hallway happened two or three days ago. And now we are here. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to try to keep this short because I could talk for a while and you guys don't want to sit here and listen to me. When people talk about us, the class of 2014, I think the very first thing they'll say is, they were true Bulldogs. We are hardworking, resilient, optimistic. We are Milton Union, and we are Bulldogs. But our influence will not and should not end here. It is time for us to move on. We've made it. After 12 years, we've made it, and I think we all have a reason to be proud. Be proud of what we've accomplished and the way we did it. Be proud of the small town and big tradition we live in. And be proud for being in what I would consider one of the most respected classes to come through Milton Union. Just like the many classes before us, it's time for us to embark on the biggest journey of our lives. The journey to the real world. It's our turn to control our own destiny, and whether that is college, the workforce, or the military, enjoy what you do, do it well, and don't forget your roots. In conclusion, I want each of you to look around at the faculty and staff, then at your parents, and now look at your friends and your classmates. Although it's sad to think about, we'll never all be in the same room together as a class again. Soak it in, guys, because it's here. I'm proud to be the president of such a great group. I love you guys. Keep in touch, and good luck in the future. At this time, it is indeed my pleasure, along with Board President Sam Huffman, to present the class of 2014. Samuel Anthony Ray Morgan. Melissa Marie Bennett. Sarah June Black. Christina Evelyn Holloway. Dustin Mitchell Adams. Kaylee Renee Antic. Tyler Stephen Baker. Hannah Rose Antic. William Cody Miller. Samantha Josephine Asher. Jack Vincent Levins. Madison Ella Beatty. Cody Wayne Hoover.
Abigail Nicole Belcher. Matthew Brian Brackey. Haley Marie Bishop. Tristan Thomas Brinkman. Amanda Michelle Black. Adam Jeffrey Brown. Madison Page Bobbitt. Derek J. Brown. Anastasia Leah Bogart. Courtney Nicole Richardson. Leanne Nicole Putterball. Christine C. Heisey. Jessica Nicole Ferguson. Kenton Michael Dickerson. Kellen J. Burkett. Brianna Lynn Cole. Jeremy Carl Clausing. Elizabeth Ann Bussey. Tyler Lewis Cook. Tracy Diane Bowling. Philip James Campbell. Danielle Nicole Church. London Alexander Cowan. <laughs> Haley Janelle Cloud. <laughs> James Thomas Courtney. <laughs> Bethany Danielle Clark. <laughs> Brody Michael Craigmore. <laughs> Lindsay Elizabeth Cole. <laughs> Kenton David Crockett. <laughs> Brittany Nicole Collins. Ryan Michael Davis. <laughs> Catherine Marie Cook. <laughs> Michael Charles Nicky. Sarah Dolores Cottrell. Jesse Lynn Duncan. Oh, 
Brittany June Cordwright. Jared Christopher Evans. Emily K. Delk. Mitchell Dwayne Guzman. Shelby Anna Dersha. Adam Walter Gaston. Caitlin Ann Douglas. Kinsey Murray Douglas. <laughs> Alex Michael Gunston. <laughs> Jenna May Duff. <laughs> Clinton Drew Helsinger. Rachel Cheyenne Eversall. Samuel James Hemrick. Austin Paul Hicks. Andrea Lynn Fox. Bradley Alexander Humphrey. <laughs> Trina Lynn Garvey. Connor D. E. Jones. Megan Marie Gowdy. Sean Ryan Jones. Sydney Marie Graff. Cameron Ray Knight. Samantha Kirsten Robin. Tyler James Lambert. And Elisa Noel Harsnide. Dakota William Linville. Sarah Jean Hill. Jace Michael Isaacs Dress. Chloe Kathleen Lewald. Draymond Navar Martindale Lavelle. Haley Medina Marie Jones. Joshua Allen Martin. <laughs> Kayla Nian Kendall. <laughs> Brittany 
Wesley Allen Martin. Adam Tyler Massingham. <laughs> Julie Jolene Leslie. Graydon Scott Matthew. <laughs> Nicole Elizabeth Lees. Casey Lynn Lucas. Dalton Adam Mitten. Madeline Elizabeth Martin. Stephen Daniel Moore. Taylor Renee McIntosh. Elizabeth Nicole Metzger. Paige Nicole Miracle. Ryan Michael Nichols. Maggie May Ostendorf. John Cole Pennington. Rachel Renee Payton. Logan Mitchell Phipps. <laughs> Hannah Renee Pennington. <laughs> Caleb Lee Olin. <laughs> Taylor Page Puckett. Zachary Everett Chrysler. <laughs> Alexandra Marie Renner. <laughs> Michael David Rapp. <laughs> Sydney Michelle Roberts. William David Rice. <laughs> Rebecca Lynn Robertson. Melissa Catherine Schlecht. <laughs> Brendan Levi Ruth. Hannah 
Rose Surgent. Mitchell Robert Schweitzer. Rachel Nicole Shepherd. Daniel Millen Scott. Jessica Ann Shields. Ashley Nicole Smith. Nathan Levi Schellenberger. Clarissa Rain Smith. Joshua Vernon Simpson. Jessica Emily Swafford. Justin Michael Sowers. Stacy Lynn Schwartz. Joshua Allen Spencer. Caitlin Danielle Thompson. Shane Mitchell Stoss. Caitlin Grace Warner. Benjamin Bree Stelzer. Alexander Marie Wendling. Cody Rawlings Wolf. Courtney Nicole Lyon. Autumn Elaine Wright. Kaylin Amber Young. Dr. Rammel, I don't need a Board of Education. It is indeed an honor to certify that the class members before you have met all the requirements for the state of Ohio and the District of Milton Union to qualify as a graduate. Class of 2014, if you could please all stand up. Please turn your tassel to the other side. <laughs>